I bet that grass is like, oh man, I can get some sunlight now. So my bluegrass, uh, I got six days on germination and the ryegrass, I planted it on a Sunday afternoon, late in the day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday morning, I got germination. So technically four days and the ryegrass was up and running. But Pete, you're walking all over the baby grass. It's just grass, it'll be okay. Now, this is pretty cool. This strip right here is that strip where I ran out of peat moss. And then, of course, I got peat moss all over the rest of it. But I have the same amount of germination. Uh, actually, might even be more germination. Where I didn't cover it with peat moss, as opposed to in the areas that I did cover it with peat moss. Huh, that's pretty cool. Pretty interesting right there. So no, I'm not going to hurt or damage the turf by walking on it, even when it's little like this. As you can see, this ground is moist. It's not mushy. That's the difference in keeping it wet and moist. With it just being moist, I got good germination. Plus, the ground is also firm. Okay, it's not mushy. So there's no harm if I walk on it. I'm not really matting the grass over and pushing it down into the soil. So you can see right there, I'm just kind of running my hands through it like that. And you can see, I mean, that's just, that's just moist in there. It's nothing wet about it. So that allows me to walk on it. And I've been walking on baby grass for years and uh, never once have I seen it die from a footprint now. I know some of you are going to cringe when I do this. But look at this where my peat moss has kind of settled right here. And it's kind of made a little roly-poly. I don't want roly-polies because I'm going to be real mowing this. And any imperfection to the grade is just going to kind of jack my mowing up. So I need to rake this. Yep, grass is four days old, and I'm gonna rake it. This is where this groundskeeper rake comes in really handy. You can see the tines are extremely thin, so that when I'm raking across the area here, I'm not actually digging, okay? You can see it's actually sifting through, and the, the grass blades are kind of just making their way through the tines, and it's not actually pulling anything up. See, here's the peat moss I just raked up. Now, this stuff right here is from the netting. Okay, that's the netting that I put down. But you can see right there, it's not actually pulling any of the grass up. Obviously, you might get one or two grass blades here and there. But I'm not the least bit concerned about that. 
I'm more concerned about getting this raked uh, now while the grass is really short when I can actually see the, the grade when I'm raking it as opposed to waiting till later. This should be very obvious. You don't want to go in here like Rambo and all gung-ho on it. This is something where you have to finesse, be very gentle and really easy because yeah, you, you can pull the turf up. It's only four days old. Uh, but my options are to leave it and have to fight an uneven grade You know for years to come we'll have to work on it harder to get the grade back right or I can fix it now While I can still see it and see the actual grade and what's going on out here. So uh, If this is something you do attempt uh, Please be very careful very cautious and easy and finesse it. This is not the time you need to show off your muscles And let me be pretty clear on this. Uh, I don't want everybody who's done a renovation to go out trying to rake it, okay? This is specific to the peat moss that's bunched up. I need to fix it, okay? If your peat moss hadn't bunched up, you don't need to fix it, then don't worry about it. And if you notice, I am not dragging my feet. I'm taking big wide steps, so I minimize how many footprints I put out here. So that's just less chance or opportunity that something might happen to the grass. But again, I ain't worried about that. It's just grass. And of course, I'm gonna go and get some water on that uh, to retain the moisture just because I've removed the seed blanket. Uh, doesn't get me out of the woods. I have to continue watering. My camera's about to get wet. Let me move it. So definitely wanna continue watering uh, to keep the ground moist. And you know, I've got, I will say 80% germination roughly. So. Uh, there's probably a few more seeds laying out there that needs to germinate, so that's another reason to keep it moist still. And I'm running this water two minutes per zone. I have two zones that cover it, 
and I'm running that six times a day. This is the lowest part of my property, so it does retain moisture probably better than any other part of the property, so uh, I'm not having to like overly hammer it with water to keep it moist. And I guess I could say the peat moss did, but I mean, when you look at this, the area without peat moss, uh, the germination is uh, just as good. So, you know, who, know, who knows, who knows?